Hi there, Gems. It's Monday, start of a brand new week, and I am fiercely trying to do um, a series of videos um, as, you know, a source of support and help for you in order to set yourself up successfully because I know many of you are still kind of like fumbling through your jump start and I'm trying my best to be live with you and assist and coach you the best way that I can so I'm hoping that these videos are doing that for you and these are a couple of not have to's but are some ideas of how I do things and I've changed it over the last few months just to see what worked or what didn't work um, my personal assistant babysitter is finally here today so I have a nice chunk of time of five hours that I can get through some videos and calls and training so I'm going to spend the, the first hour or two hours doing these videos and posting them and then I am going to be um, making some phone calls to get more bookings on my book on my schedule of June so I'm in the bedroom because Gabby is downstairs on the second floor with Portia and the puppy and Greg is in the other office, so I have to work out of the bedroom today until I find a better spot for myself. So real quickly, um, some cool things that I have discovered, and I've already told a few of you that I've seen in person, um, some things that you can give, like we do have in the, in the Stylist Lounge, you know, the Swag Boutique, uh, which is brand new, um, and I think that they'll be adding things to that that will help us to book hostesses or to give as gifts that are not so expensive. But the candles, even though they're fourteen and seven dollars, are cost seven dollars is still seven dollars. Um, and I'm always trying to find cute ways to gift the hostess. Um, you know, just like the little tchotchke stuff, really. Is, the word I want to use because it is it's just kind of like a novelty item something cute um, so I'm always shopping like the bargain bins at Target or even when you go to like TJ Maxx and Marshalls um, and things like that like I always buy like housewarming gifts like you know they have the really pretty soaps that are wrapped up in the pretty paper um, that's always a great, a great housewarming gift that you can give with like some hand towels or you know whatever it is and wrapping it up so I am always looking for inexpensive ways but makes it look fancy. So I was at Pier 1. I forget why I even went there. But I just like to shop the bargain because sometimes they have really cool stuff. And I happened to find these mirrors. It's literally like a little, it's smaller than a coaster. It's like a little handheld mirror. It's the cutest thing. And they came in different colors and they're a dollar. I'm literally going to go back and clear out house and buy like $30 worth. And I had the style and dot stickers. So I put them on the back. But I mean, how cute to have a little mirror that they can put in their purse or whatever. And this isn't the prettiest bag. It's literally just like a, a paper bag. I got at AC Moore. But I put the style and dot sticker on here. But I'm going to find a different way to package it. But it's just really cute when somebody books a show, you can kind of just give them this and be like, thank you so much for hosting. And it's just the thought, you know. And even if they did know this is a dollar, it's still the cutest little thing. It doesn't look cheap at all. So I don't know if I could probably find them wholesale where they're like 30 cents. That would be even better, which I'm probably going to try to do. But I just thought it's the cutest thing. They came in like red, yellow, green, hot pink, turquoise, you know, like five different colors. They're so cute. And I just put them in here with my business card and some candy, some chocolates. And it's a great way to do a hostess like gift thank you for booking um whatever so that's that the other thing that i do is i make up and it's funny how this even happened because it was by accident or like it wasn't intentional because i needed to get rid of some things and i repurposed it so these little bags i got a bag of these like a hundred damask print bags which these are pretty I'm probably gonna order more um, for my baby shower and um, I had given as favors for my baby shower a deck of playing cards because you could they come personalized and it's not the cards themselves that get personalized which I actually thought was but it's okay um, but it's actually the case that comes with the cards that you can get personalized stickers so I had them say 
you know, Porsche's, you know, my baby shower, but a Porsche Milan, and it was for the baby shower, and it was on the front of the case. I'm going to take this out and show you. But I had so many left over because they were like a dollar a case. So I bought like $75 worth, I think, or something like that. And I only gave away half of them, and I still had so many. And I'm like, oh, my God, what am I supposed to do with, a, with you know, half of these, you know, decks of playing cards? We only can play cards so much, you know. Um, so I was like, oh. And then when Stella and Dot came along, I'm like, oh, my God, I could totally repurpose this. Because what I say to people about the opportunity with Stella and Dot is take a chance, style your life with, St with Stella and Dot. That's like the phrase that I use take a chance playing cards take a chance blackjack 21 you know like it's like a a risk it's gambling the odds to see if you should or you shouldn't so i figured it kind of makes sense i'm kind of corny uh but anyway so i literally like unwrapped all of them because they were all wrapped with the baby shower stuff and took everything out and got new stickers to put on and literally the new sticker just says are you interested in the style stella and dot stylist opportunity if so Take a chance, style your life with Stella and Dot, and then I give the link for my website, my phone number, and my email, and that's it. And I had in here with my business card and some chocolates. So if you see here, here's the case. It's literally like a plastic case that comes with a deck of playing cards. Let me open it. And the, the playing cards are still wrapped in this plastic. So they're brand new, and here's the case. It's like a little case so the cards are inside and then I got new stickers from Vista print that are like I guess business card stickers essentially and I changed what I said before just because I just figured this is more fitting and as you can see it says my name stylist and business coach now that I have a team I decide to add business coach to my title um, and then my email, and then you see the Stella and Dot logo, and then I wrote, you know, irresistible, affordable, celebrity coveted, and then start your own social selling business for only one ninety nine, and my phone number and the website. So this is what's on this. So when I'm giving out hostess, not hostess, stylist opportunity packets, I will add this. Or sometimes if I just randomly see somebody that I think would just make a great stylist, I'll just give them this, and that's it. So it's like it looks like a little gift. It's really pretty. It's really cute. It's very inexpensive. Um, till you add everything up, it's like probably two dollars to make one of these. And I just figure I make a whole bunch at once, and I have them ready to hand out at vendor events. I'll hand them out at um, you know sh trunk shows with the Stoss Opportunity stuff for any two you know guests that I think would make a great stylist. And then my business card and the candy. So this is something cute that you can make yourself as well just to have on hand it makes it a little bit more special a little bit more personal um and it's like you're taking the time to you know put some thought into your business and showing people that you love your business you care about your business and you would love them to be a part of it so that's an idea and then i always have opportunity packets made up pre-made and literally it's just the Stas Opportunity brochure. And then now I have these labels on here, like the business labels, so I put them on the back. And I print out some literature to add to it, and I just fold it and put it in. Like we have this one image, which I'll post on our, land, on our gems page if it's not there already. It's not the clearest image, but it's clear enough, and it just says now hiring, and it talks about the five different women that would sell style on dot so it just definitely lets them know that they fit in there somewhere and I put it in the let's chat which is the actual corporate printout PDF file um, about the opportunity and some information about the company and why they should consider it and then this little thing about the blue card you know what have they bought with their blue card with their style and dot compensation card which is kind of cute the other piece that I want to put in here is the college student one it's just one printout calling college students to come and do the opportunity because they can work it around their college schedule. And it's really cute. It's one page, I think, or maybe two, but very short and sweet. 
and I just put everything in here and you have them ready to go and then you hand two out the minimum you hand two out and you minimum try to book two shows too so from every trunk show you can just give these out so that is that just on those ideas I just want to make a quick video on that and I'm going to be continuing to make videos about some label ideas that you can do for your um, hostess packets when you're setting up hostess packets and I'll also be doing a new video on hostess packets and an updated video on the planner that I use just because there's been a request so hopefully this was informative and helpful just giving you some ideas and stay tuned I'll talk to you ladies soon.